Welcome to this uh, video and thank you for your interest in Broadcom's automation solutions. During this session, I will discuss the challenges of using multiple cloud vendors as part of your digital transformation initiatives. Most of the time, when you build your cloud strategy, your main focus is on infrastructure capabilities, provisioning APIs, elasticity, reversibility, pricing, as a result, you may undervalue something very important, it's automation. At Broadcom, we believe that automation is your most important asset for managing business critical processes, especially when the infrastructure complexity is increasing, when you have to mix private cloud, public cloud, and legacy systems. So, how to leverage automation for addressing the new challenges of multi-cloud? This is what we are going to discuss now. As you plan to move to the cloud, use a platform as a service or software as a service, you also need to plan moving and transforming your existing workloads. In fact, it is very unlikely you can take what you have, move it to the cloud and just run it as it is, because most of the time you will need at least adaptations due to technology changes. And of course, you might also need bigger transformations in order to fully leverage all the new benefits of the cloud infrastructure. Now, where is the biggest challenge in that transformation? I think there is one central question. Are you comfortable with your existing business processes? So what does it mean? In fact, do you have enough visibility on the processes? Do you have control from end to end? How many distinct automation tools are you using? How much manual are your processes? Do you still have manual handovers between the different steps? So globally, are you ready to handle new layers of complexity that will be added by moving to the cloud? Now, what does your cloud look like? Here we have some interesting figures from Gartner. First finding, 81% of companies are using at least two or more distinct cloud providers. Actually, companies are not doing differently than 10 years ago. Today, they select cloud providers the same way they selected server and operating system vendors. Capabilities, performance, price, they choose the technology that fits the best with their business expectations. So it means you can quickly come to work with multiple cloud vendors because of technical reasons or simply to avoid any vendor lock-in. But there is another reason companies are working with multiple cloud vendors. It's about their EBC strategy. EBC means Enterprise Business Capabilities. For a time, the EBC strategy was referenced as the postmodern ERP trend. So what does it mean? Many companies are leaving their monolithic legacy ERP. They are moving back to less integrated tools. You know, they are still using a core ERP, but instead of using it for everything, they are adopting additional software as a service solutions like Salesforce, ServiceNow, Workday, Tableau, and many others. As a result, modern IT environments just look like a hybrid of loosely coupled services. Services on-premise, services in the cloud. That's why it is critical for IT organizations to adopt a service orientation. And Gartner envisions that the transition needs to be done in the next five years. Most organizations that will not be service oriented won't be able to support business demands. And of course, this is an open door for shadow IT and the many problems related to it. Okay, so you are moving to the cloud. Now, what are the consequences? What are the main challenges? The third challenge is the migration to the cloud itself. As a matter of fact, companies moving to the cloud do not start from scratch. 
they need to transition a large set of existing operations and they need to migrate hundreds or thousands of workloads from on-premise to the cloud. The big question when you do such a migration is mostly about visibility. Do you have enough control over complex processes that span across multiple technologies and multiple workload automation vendors? How can you evaluate the impact of migrating your workloads and ensure you will still be able to deliver the expected service levels? The second challenge is the management of complex and hybrid workloads. When you modernize your applications or modernize your business processes, your workloads might be distributed on different environments. It can be on your private cloud, on your legacy infrastructure, on the mainframe, for example. But of course, some of your workloads will be hosted on the public cloud. On top of that, you will have to deal with different natures of workloads, like data movements, web services, virtual machines, and containers. The last challenge is about IT service delivery. Business users are used to cloud services in their private life with self-service, instant messaging, immediate response. They just expect that same level of service in their business life. So the reality is that they are not willing to wait for IT services. It means while you are moving to the cloud, you also need to deliver IT services at the speed of cloud. As I said just before, if you cannot deliver IT services at speed, then you open the door to shadow IT. Developers, testers, even business users might choose external providers and it will be weakening the corporate IT strategy. Okay, so big challenges. Now let's have a look at how companies are trying to, to address that. As I said when I introduced uh, today's topic, at Broadcom we are convinced that automation is key to manage complex workloads, but all automation strategies are not equal. And the figures you see now are very interesting. They come from a recent EMA survey about digital transformation and application modernization. More than half of the respondents report that they are using a mix of automation tools. They are using tools like Chrome, like Windows Scheduler, Open Source Scheduler, ETL Schedulers, or diverse workload automation solutions. It means they do not have end-to-end -end control on the processes that they manage. Even if some portions of the processes are automated, they still have manual synchronizations manual handovers. As a result, they experience a high rate of failure and the lack of visibility and control impacts their agility. It is very difficult to increase the number of changes on processes you have only little control on. So there is a visible impact on that situation. You can see the two figures in the middle of the slide. Around 40% of companies have difficulties with application modernization and business demands for transformation. They need to integrate new technologies with legacy systems. They need to automate hybrid processes spanning from the mainframe to the cloud. They also need to automate data transfers, web services, virtual machines, containers. That's probably why we see this noticeable result from the survey. 80% of the companies are now considering to improve their automation strategies, and they are looking for ways to get more centralized control on their automated processes. That said, what should you do? I propose to review examples from two of our customers. They could address uh, multi-cloud challenges with Broadcom. The first example is with a global player that offers a full range of technologies and services for water treatment facilities. The company is currently deploying its new digital strategy, 
with the objective of providing new services to its customers. So it's about managing smart meters, offering mobile applications and services like real-time alerts and water consumption. At the same time, the IT department decided to move a large part of the production to the Amazon cloud to optimize operational costs. The goal was to build their own platform as a service and enable resource provisioning on demand. The main challenge the teams had to address was to automate complex processes in a hybrid environment. ZOS, distributed Linux, and various Amazon cloud services like compute, storage, and web services. The project consisted of migrating more than 6,000 workloads to the cloud, and uh, it was started with a process mapping and a prototype to validate the automatic migration. With that, it was possible to industrialize the migration, accelerating the project, and also minimizing the risk of human errors. So in terms of results, switching the workloads to AWS took less than three months, and it has been done without any noticeable impact on the production. The main benefit for the business was a significant acceleration of the deployment of new services in the cloud, so more innovation for the customers, more ammunition against the competition. It was a good move, totally in line with uh, the company digital strategy. Another example is that company in the banking vertical. They were planning to move most of their IT operations into the cloud. And they decided at the same time to replace their main three automation platforms, batch, ETL, and file transfers, with Broadcom solution. The goal was to push for systematic adoption of automation as part of a center of enablement approach. While implementing the new strategy, they moved workloads from nearly 20 data centers into the cloud, and they migrated 160,000 jobs for supporting the modernized business processes on-prem and in the cloud. There was one interesting result of switching to modern automation, and that was a little bit unexpected. The former environment was generating 60,000 job failures every month, which is now a thing of the past. The new automation platform is now supporting innovation with new capabilities and new services delivered on a regular basis to the customer. And internally, more than 3,000 users have adopted the Broadcom solution. They access the service catalog every day. So this is a really good example of massive adoption of automation tools, and it is clearly aligned with the center of enablement approach. Now a bit of detail on how Broadcom can help to automate multi-cloud environments. The goal of the solution is to let you manage complex and hybrid workloads, also to enable simple and fast deployment of services into the cloud. The solution can help you to succeed with your cloud transition thanks to three main capabilities. Broadcom helps with cloud migration by delivering powerful analytics across systems and automation vendors, and also by having a clear view on what is the impact of the change you do in your processes. So by using Broadcom, you can build trust in the way you plan the migration of your existing workloads to the cloud. Cloud automation enables you to manage complex and hybrid processes across various technologies and cloud vendors. It also enables you to dynamically control the cloud infrastructure in order to optimize your workload execution. And the cloud abstraction helps you to deliver IT services across cloud vendors, build reusable service assets, and enable IT and non-IT users with a catalog of services. Broadcom lets you automate your multi-cloud initiatives and deliver more value by simplifying and accelerating the deployment 
of your new business services. As a conclusion, three good reasons to trust Broadcom for your automation. Intelligent automation with augmented visibility and control. Broadcom helps you migrate your existing workloads to the cloud with confidence. Broad ecosystem. When you select an automation solution, you need to ensure it covers your technology end-to-end. -end. Broadcom provides automation for the mainframe, distributed, business application, and multiple cloud technologies. And scale, because your digital future depends on automation. So you need to build your future on a solution that is scalable and that can grow with the business demands. That said, thank you for your time today. To continue the journey, please visit our website at broadcom.com.